All right. I'm now I've got uh, Cheryl Ward, Stephen Ward, and they are from St. Augustine. Is that right? That's correct. Right. And you guys are bundled up today because we got some snow last night. Cheryl, what do you think of that? Yeah. Well, it's a little chilly for someone from Florida. But you told me off camera that you guys used to ski all the time. All the time, yes. Yeah. So you're no stranger to the cold, but no, the cold when it comes down to the middle of June is a different story. Yeah, unexpected, but we're so happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is one of the many art festivals that I think you guys partake in, is that correct? Yes, we do art festivals from Miami to Colorado, and we do roughly 35 shows a year. And this is about show number 22 for us. Wow. So year long, like it just goes throughout the entire yes. year. There's not like a downtime. No. Yeah, we start in January in Bonita Springs, Florida, and the last show is usually in Houston in late October. And this is your business. This is what you do full time. Yes. And you and Cheryl are both a yes. part of this process. Yep, we both work on this. We've been doing this for 20 years now. And uh, the art in the booth is called Prairie Grass. We collect dried reeds from northern Illinois, cattail reeds, and we hand paint each reed one at a time and then they are assembled into the art that you see back here. There's roughly 200 individually hand-painted dried reeds in every single piece. So the reeds from northern Illinois, are they different than the reeds from Maine or from Florida? No, but we have a home yeah. there, <laughs> there you go, and right? that's where we go in November to harvest. <laughs> Our blank canvas is dried reeds, and we spend two to three weeks every October, collecting. November collecting reeds. And, and then, then you drive them back to Florida, or do you ship them, or what? We leave half of them in our studio in Illinois, and half of them go to Florida, and that's our blank canvas for a whole year, and we work from that pile of reeds until the next harvest. So, Thank like, you. how many, like, you have just bundles upon bundles of reeds? We have tubs full okay. of dried reeds you know and is the cattail still on the top no that's the seed head that disappears and goes away we're using the long leaf of the plant that's usually three to five feet in length so you can get a lot of you can get a lot out of one sometimes let's yeah. let's look let's move over here let's talk about the process because from a distance it, it, it's deceiving it's like yes. three-dimensional it's very neat a lot of people, most men assume and guess that it's photography. Most women assume and guess that it's fabric. Almost nobody ever guesses exactly what I it is. I asked you if it was little pieces of wood. <laughs> right, that that's, that's, that's another common guess, yep. but it, it is dried reeds. So the art does not weigh a lot. It weighs ounces, but it is assembled into a wooden frame that's hiding behind the mat board that holds all the reeds together. Okay. The art lifts in and out of the frame independent. A lot of people think we've glued the art to the frame, which isn't correct. But uh, so we assemble the art, we hand paint the reeds, we let them dry, they're glued into a frame that's hiding behind the mat board that holds it all together. They're touched up, made sure that everything looks straight and nice. They're sprayed with a clear varnish, um, and then they are framed and ready for sale at a show. And we've been doing this for 20 years, and uh, people <laughs> seem to like what we do. They're all linear, and everything has a wire to hang both vertically or okay. horizontally. Let me ask you this. Where did it start? It started with me doing paintings in this business first, which are also here at the show. Oh, you have another booth um, next to yeah. right, okay. Um, and after being in the business for a little while, we kind of learned that funky, unique, and different is what people like. And so uh, this was my idea to come up with something funky, unique, and different. And Cheryl's like, we're not going to collect reeds, honey. Are you crazy? <laughs> and then look at it now. Look where it's gone. That's well, amazing. Cheryl's Beautiful. motivation was that this works. We get to move from Illinois to Florida. And that <laughs> happened and that worked. <laughs> Cheryl's nodding her head off camera. Uh, so go to wardartstudio.com, but they are right here, right as you enter Lion's Head. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Bundle up. Uh, let's bundle up and uh, stop by and say hi to Stephen and Cheryl. They've got some beautiful stuff. They work with prairie grass. Really neat. One of the many different vendors, one of the many different artists you're going to find here at the Vale Arts Festival, the 35th anniversary this year. Eric has weather coming up next.